What's up guys, this is RC Films here, and today I'm going to show you how to dual boot an unsupported Mac, which is 2011 or older, the easy way. Today I'm using a 2009 MacBook Pro, which has a Intel Core 2 dual processor and is a 64-bit computer. Apple doesn't allow any MacBook older than 2012 to install Windows 10, they only allow Windows 7, but I have a workaround for that, and today I will show you. And with this method, you will be able to skip the long process of installing Windows 7 and then upgrading to Windows 10, but be able to go straight to Windows 10. The first thing we need is a Windows 10 ISO file. To get that, follow the link below and do and download exactly as I show you. So this brings us to the Microsoft website where we will download a direct copy of Windows 10. So we can go ahead and select Windows 10, press confirm, choose your language, press confirm. Now we can go ahead and download. Make sure that, you're, that you download the correct bit for your computer, minus 64 bit. So I'm going to download the 64 bit version. This might take a little bit. Find the next link in the description and download the support files. As you can see, we have both the bootcamp support file and the Windows 10 ISO image downloading. As these two files are downloading, go into the Apple logo above and click About This Mac. What we need to do from here is go into System Report and make sure that you are in Hardware. What we want to look for is the Model Identifier right here and also the Boot ROM version. Make a note of those, copy them down, paste them somewhere, just make sure that you have them on your computer. And then go ahead and X out of that. Go into your Spotlight Search and type in Boot Camp. And as you can see, there is no option to create and install this. After we've seen that the stock boot camp on these unsupported Macs do not allow you to install Windows 7, 8, or 10, we are going to go into our applications in our finder and then scroll down till you find utilities. See, here's our boot camp assistant. Go ahead and make a copy of that and X out of there and then paste it onto your desktop. As soon as that's done, we can go into Show Package Contents. We're gonna go and find info.plist. Right click it and open with Other. Scroll down till you find Text Edit. And there are four things that we need to change on this document. So go and find DA Required ROM version right here. So now we need to paste our ROM version in there. So make sure that you press Enter, tab all the way over, in order to do this properly, you need to make sure that you pay, that you copy string and then your number and then the string again. So we're going to make sure that we do this. So string and then we're going to paste our number and then we're going to copy the rest. Backslash string. Okay. Now that that's done, we have three more steps to do. We're going to scroll down to pre UEFI models and we're going to make sure that we delete the pre and now we can add our model identifier and with the surrounding symbols so we're going to tab over we're going to go string and then we're going to find our model identifier there's mine and then we're going to make sure that we put the string back in now that that's done we can go into um, the next area, or we can go to the next step, and that is to um, delete the pre out of pre USB supported models. So now we need to add our model into it. So tab over, make sure to make sure to copy in the surrounding symbols, and then we're going to paste our, Mac, our, our number, and then string. So now the next step is to go into Windows 7 only models and find your Mac, your model identifier. And if it's there, you need to delete it. So here's mine. I'm going to delete it. And now that that's done, all you need to do is press the file and save. And then save anyways. And then X out of that. You can X out of this. And now we can go ahead and open up our Boot Camp Assistant, press continue, and there we have it. Create Windows 7 or later version install disk. That is what we are going for guys. 
The next step includes two USBs that you need to use one to back up your system and one to create the install disk. So what we need to do now is go ahead and take the bigger one, this one is 126 gigabytes, and we're going to back up all your personal files onto this. So go ahead and insert that. Open up your finder now, go to where you keep all of your files, highlight them, and drag and drop them into your USB. And then this will take a while depending on how much storage you have to back up. And you wanna keep all those files until after the whole process is done, just to make sure that you don't lose any of your personal files. As soon as your downloads are finished, make sure that you put them onto your desktop, Next, grab your 8 gigabyte USB and insert it. And we can go ahead and open up Boot Camp. Go ahead and press continue. And we want to only collect the first one. Create Windows 7 or later version install disk. Go ahead and press continue. And what we need to do is we need to go and find our Windows 10 um, ISO. Uh, and go ahead and press desktop because that's where we stored it. And then find Windows 10 64 bit ISO. Our destination disk is the 8 gigabyte USB that you have. Go ahead and press continue. And then it says drive will be erased and that's only talking about your USB 8 gigabyte drive. So go ahead and press continue. And this may take a little bit. Okay, once that is done, we can minimize out of boot camp and then Make sure that you drag your bootcamp support software into the Windows install disk that was created. Now that we have our Windows install disk with our bootcamp support file on it and our backed up USB drive, we are ready to go ahead and create Windows 10. So the first thing that we want to do is check this box. It says install Windows 7 or later version and then we can press continue. Before you create the partition, make sure to write down the Windows 10 product key in the, in the description. Uh, when you get to the product key, make sure that you um, skip that and we will make sure to get that later on. For the sake of the length of the video, I'm going to skip the install process as it is pretty much self-explanatory. So go into your new bootcamp assistant, press continue, and divide it up how, however much you want. You can keep more OS X or more windows doesn't matter it's up to you I'm gonna keep 30 on or 40 on windows the minimum that you need is 30 for windows and I'm going to install it now this will take a little bit and now you can see that Windows 10 is installing it says this PC will restart several times and it might take a while so just be patient once you have Windows 10 set up and installed, all you need to do now is take your 8 gigabyte flash drive, fit it into your computer, and locate the file called Bootcamp 4.0. Click it, run Bootcamp, and set up. Click yes. Click OK. Finish. And a new window will pop up saying this program might not have installed correctly. Go ahead and press install using combat compatibility settings. Press next. Click I accept. Press next. And install. And soon this will install all the drivers that, is, that are needed. As the NVIDIA driver is installing your screen may turn black and just flash black every once in a while and that happened to mine it's totally okay it says it's going to do that so don't worry while it's installing the actual boot camp it says this may take several minutes so just be patient as soon as that's done go ahead and click finish and press yes and it will restart make sure that when you restart you hold down the option or alt key and uh, arrow over to Windows and press enter. And it'll take a little bit but it will uh, boot into Windows. Click there and click this little uh, diamond and do boot camp control panel. Yes. And click whichever one you want to uh, start up with. And I'm going to start up with Mac because that's the one I'm going to be using most and click OK. 
And now that's all there is for the boot camp installation. To activate your Windows 10 Pro, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Windows Start menu, press Settings, and then go into Activation. And then try Change Product Key In. You can see I'm running Windows 10 Pro flawlessly. The volume keys work. If you guys do a little investigating and you uh, look at your drivers, um, you'll find that the coprocessor is does not have a driver. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Cortana and type in device manager and go ahead and open that. And there should be um, somewhere in here, there should be a error saying coprocessor does not have a uh, driver. If you go ahead and click update driver software, manually put in your bootcamp support file, um, it will automatically update for you. If you guys want to switch from Windows to Mac or Mac to Windows, all you got to do is either go to this little startup button right here and click boot camp and restart in Mac OS, or you can do it but manually by going to the Windows start button clicking the power button and press restart and it will say restarting and as soon as that screen goes black it'll reboot and hold the option key and you can choose between uh, Mac or Windows and I'm gonna boot into Mac and there's the Apple logo and I'll show you going from Mac to Windows press restart then you'll hear the chime and hold option. And go over, uh, press the arrow key over to Windows, press enter, and there's your login screen. For more clarification, there will be step-by-step -step instructions in the description. So check those out. Otherwise, you can, con or you can leave a comment and I will try to answer it. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is RC Films, and if you want to see my other video on how to install Windows 10, go ahead and click up in the right corner or in the description below. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.